Мы видим, как не просто складывается международная обстановка, какие опасности таят существующие вызовы, такие как расшатывание системы контроля над вооружениями или военная активность блока НАТО. При этом призывы России к выстраиванию системы равной и неделимой безопасности, которая бы надежно защищала все страны, остаются без ответа. Наша страна всегда открыта для прямого и честного диалога, для поиска дипломатических развязок самых сложных проблем. Но, повторю, интересы России и безопасность наших граждан для нас безусловны. Поэтому будем и дальше развивать, совершенствовать армию и флот, добиваться, чтобы повышалась их эффективность, чтобы они были оснащены по последнему слову техники. All right, so first I want to start by saying Kala Lal, Yahawa, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of James Greatman Stone, and to Yakim out there pressing the truth in sincerity, the hopeful elect, Shalom. This is Brother Kanan from James Jamaica. He had a quick lesson. I'm gonna try to make it quick. As you can see, at the start of the video, you are seeing Putin, that's the Russian president, basically um explaining to you why uh, it's important for them to protect their people. He's, he's stating it clearly that, look, this, all that you're seeing that they're doing in Ukraine at this time period is to protect their people, all right? And he also calls for honest dialogue. And the reason why that is being pointed out is because any country or anyone that has any level of sense or any form of sense can understand exactly what the politics or politics, you know what I mean, moves that are taking place, the, re the real reasons why they are taking place. You know, the media will come out here and spread um, their, their story to persuade the mass for dummies to play blind and to continue. And why am I saying that? Right? I'm saying all of that because there are cases and instances where America is leaving their borders and they're amongst the lines of countries that they are in so-called competition with you know what I mean? At their borders, which is a safety risk. Right? So these countries, like any other sensible countries, would have done, or what they would do is basically protect their self. Or protect themselves. America would do the same if it was on their borders and they would have mat a matter of fact maybe they would have retaliated um I retaliate in a more um vigorous way because or more seriously because we all know that America is proud and they are the big bad wolf or the bully of the world. Now I'm gonna say something about um I'm gonna get scriptures also but I'm gonna say something about um instances that took place before now, what is taking place in Ukraine? Because I'm seeing where even Jamaica here, there are these dumb, stupid leaders coming out about condemning actions and they have no sense, right? Condemning the actions of Russia. Now, let's say if Jamaica was ever a threat to any neighboring country, we know that the military here is not really great. And the military surrounding is not really great. But let's say Cuba, which is a more advanced military, decided that they were going to put some form of threat to, to, um, to Jamaica. We know that they're good at this point. But let's say that was supposed to, uh, um, to take place. Then Jamaica would have the right to protect their borders or to secure their borders. You know what I mean? That's just simple policy. And I'm, but here you have Jamaica 
um, our Jamaican uh, leaders basically, you know, condemning actions that, again, any country would do. A family would do the same thing to protect their home. This is why they build fence. You build fence to protect people from for staying out. All right? Now, giving you an instance, instance now, Russia have real reasons to, to protect themselves. In Syria, and I can name many more countries, you have rebels that were placed or paid by the American government according to allegations. And even these men come out and fund them openly, so the allegations are you know, kind of sticking in a sense. These rebels would have came out, you know what I mean, armed, trying to, to, to uproot or to remove a civil country such as Syria, a country that would have been basically, um, you know, given the, the, the right to, to decide their own destiny or to, to, to rule themselves. America fund these countries, fund rebels in these countries to create chaos. And not only that, some of these rebels that America was funding and giving military aid, weapons, were aligned with terrorist groups that they call terrorists. And these same separatists are, are, are rebels that America was funding were calling for them to, to support the same terrorists. But America still back these rebels to do what? Create chaos because they are certain see, um, important places um you know are important um geographic um areas that are essential like i just said important for them to have some form of a disrupt or, or a disruption or some form of destabilizing and russia did made mention of that because these men they are not idiots they know that these actions are provocative are basically provocation for war and basically to destabilize their economy and to destabilize their region so they can try to overthrow these countries or to get a grip of certain areas. That is exactly what they want to do, to put puppets into these um, um, countries so they can benefit from their decisions. And the people them, well, them are trying to do these things too, they are not idiots. But the world seems to be dumb and stupid and a lot of idiots seems to be out there. Now I'm going to get the first scripture before, me, before I share something. Right, so this is um, Abacuc, um 2 and verse 4. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his feet. Yea, also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keep it at home. Let's stick a pin. He keep it not at home. No, we're going to show you how far Ukraine is. Look at, let's look at this. Alright? That's Ukraine. That's on the borders of Russia. Remember, they were trying to overthrow Crimea. Right? And if you look, you can see that Crimea is basically just off Russia right there. These places were actually part of Russia before it was, you know, or the Soviet Union, I should say, which basically is Russia. You know what I mean? And the world, are these leaders are aware of this, but yet they are provoking the people them to rot. And calling along simple simple people, sheep that are stupid to back their claims. Okay, this is not only being done in Russia, in the in the in the South China Sea or that in that region, 
they are doing the same thing to China. It is no coincidence why China and Russia are, com are, are competitors, are, are enemies to the U.S. It is, not, it is not hard to even understand why. These are powers that are basically tipping over the bar of what America is at this point. America is a falling economy, a falling power, falling um, um, country, so to speak. They are not as great as they were before. And you have some countries that are passing them. And these countries are now aligned to each, with each other. They are, they are basically um, allies. Which is why America is targeting these areas and trying to disrupt these people. They are not playing fear. And again, majority of the world is naive and stupid to these actions. Oh, we're gonna sanction an armed Russia. Oh yes, more sanctions. Oh, what, what are you gonna do? In, what are you gonna do on a border that is not yours? Let's get back to the scripture. All right. Again, it says, "Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as debt, and cannot be satisfied." But gathered unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people. Again, America have every nation they can think of in them country. All farm, farmer people. Right? What does it say in verse 6? It says, Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. So when America go into a certain country, they have political or they have um they have things that they want, or geopolitic um these are politic geopolitic moves, are moves basically to um to counter their enemies, or to basically get a foothold on their enemies. You know which enemy is gonna sit back and let the next enemy just take over their their country like that? It's not going to happen like that, and they know this. But they want to provoke the people into accepting this type of war. So when it comes, oh, Russia was the aggressor. Nope. America was the aggressor because America is trying to destabilize this country. Now, if you look at the, the map that you're seeing on screen, it says, um, this is in Donetsk, which, which is in Ukraine. And it says that these are controlled by Russian backed separatists and we're not idiot we know that russia basically put their army there under disguise because again only the naive will not follow the because their person is playing the same game in a sense russia know that if they were to go full-fledged you know what i mean and put soldiers there saying oh these are russian soldiers then it will create an alarm, just as if, just as we said. I know it's alarming, but he's just telling you that we've called for dialogue, but honest dialogue. And these men are not being honest. They come to the platform being devils, right? Because what the devil is a deceiver. They come on platforms speaking as if they don't know what their agenda is, and what the goal is. All of these leaders that came. They come, do their term, went away. The goal and the, 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 the aim did not change. The enemy did not change. None of these leaders came and became friends with Russia. They did not come and become friends with China. Um, they did not become friends with Iran or Syria. These nations are all at war with America and eventually it's going to go to thermonuclear destruction. And that's what they are hyping up the world for. Because every nation will be backed or will be allied to a country. As you see, everybody is basically calling their stance and what they think. And Jamaica, we all know, is the backyard of America. And guess what? When Jamaica was doing business with China, and they still are, you know what I mean? And doing business with um, Russia, but to a small extent, uh, so a small extent America sent their um, spokes, uh, spokesman for the region, for this region between them, to come and, matter of fact, 
Obama himself came to Jamaica to speak to, 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 to the government about their dealings with, with China. Say, look here, man, what are you guys doing? This is in our back. Look how, even though we are in the backyard of America, look how far Jamaica they're from America compared to where Ukraine is from Russia. The country literally joined together with a line basically a border them. But look at how America react for things like that. And Russia never never come here. China never come here. Come. They, they're just doing business. Which every country is free to do. But again, America will warn you because America is just that big bully. You know what I mean? Let me continue with the, with the scripture. Alright, so it says, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. You know what I mean? Go and people them country, take them resources. How long unto him that at so, sorry to, to him that loveth himself with thick clay and that's going into debt. You know what I mean? Piling up debts upon debts upon itself. You know what I mean? It says, Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee? And thou shalt be for booties unto them, because thou hast spoiled many nations. Look back again. Look how much country in this world that America destroyed. Let's talk about Yemen. Let's talk about Libya. Let's talk about the Middle East on a whole. They have destabilized these countries under false pretense. Oh, we're going to go over there because they have weapon of mass destruction. Ten years later, fifteen years later, whoop. No weapon here. After you de the amount of lives that were lost because of these evil men. And yet people still back these demons. Being blind and naive to what the I'm not saying that Russia is, is perfect. Or Russia is the good guy. But compared to America, America is worse. Right? America is worse. Right? And even though I'm saying that, it's not that I'm saying that, oh, we support Russia. Or we, su we support, well, for us GMS brothers, Hebrew Israelites, GMS Israelites, we don't support any of these leadership because they're all evil. What we support is the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And we know that because of these two, um, um, as I say, Nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, right? It must happen because it's prophecy for basically Russia to fire missiles upon America and burn America and those that are living in America with thermal nuclear destruction as prophesied in Revelation. Right? Revelation 18 where that smoke is going up in Babylon, that's America. Babylon just means confusion and America is that confusion. Right, giving democracy and all of that. No, it says they will basically take up a booty. Uh, it says because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. So these people will come ag to and turn against America and destroy America because they're gonna realize that look here, you've deceived us and you've spoiled us. Right? It says because of men's blood and for their violence of the land. Of the city and all of the, all that dwell therein, and there's no other greater violence or level of violence than who Americans, the Americans. They are known for mass genocide, many causing a lot of people to be, you know, six foot six. Family members mourning the loss of their life, their loved ones, living in. Parish um, state going through all kind of illness because after so much chemical warfare that will have taken place in those areas, you have people that are being born looking like some out of a sci fi movie. Four on, four foot, all of these type of things that America is responsible for. Who's paying for them? But the thing is, the most is going to pay America and the world for all the evil that they have done. 
and the main evil is the evil that they did are still doing to you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans that are in this region when you came over here in slavery and your box built America and now you're still in that country being niggers, being looked on as nothing and I mean and still being ma um, marginalized, you're still being the minority in, in their eyes, you're still looked on as the scum, right? Even though your box built that city, which is not a great city, but people look at it in that light, right? That's exactly why the Mosa is going to destroy America for what they did to us and what they have done to throughout the entire world. The Bible said the entire world is going to rejoice when America go up in flame. It doesn't seem that way now because, again, people are naive. But once that re they come to that realization, they wake up out of that deep sleep and realize who oh, this devil is, then they're going to accept the America judgment. All right? So, like I said, just look at the borders and tell me if Russia doesn't have the right to protect and why America is all the way over there trying to provoke Basically, you can look at this as a family matter because Ukraine is Russia. It's a part, it was a part of the Soviet Union, which was Russia. And again, Russia, like a Putin state, they would have basically had a great history with this part of Russia and they would have built it. So they have rights to talk into it. You know what I mean? I have rights to defend their border, if not the least. So that I'm going to wrap it up. Don't want to make the video too long. I don't want to go into ra and to ranting. Alright. But people are naive and stupid yo. So with that I want to say. Call Allah. Yahweh. Bashem. Yahushai. Which is to give all praises to the Heavenly Father. In the name of His Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. And double honest again to our apostles. And elders. Shalom.